One thing I learned from Peter one time Never deny, deny Tempted to catch amnesia sometimes Never deny, deny Even when my faith will come a cry yeah. I never deny, deny When I confess I put my neck on the line I never deny, deny yeah. The Bible was interpreted differently in many ways, obviously mm -hmm. because it's translated so differently. Yeah, we believe that when like the apostles died, yeah, the power of God left the earth as well. Yeah, so that means some of the Bible might not have been translated correctly by the power of God, because if people were writing without the power of God, it was who, technically who would be translated writing? by man. Who would be writing without the power of God if all the books came from the apostles? No, they are, but. Bible was translated differently so many ways. It should only be translated once, right? Well, what do you mean translated? Like, like there's tons of different versions of the Bible. There's translations, but yeah. it's all from the same manuscripts. Like the yeah, source is still the same. There's a lot of different Bibles. Like some Bibles don't testify. Like they take out Son of Man. Which know? ones? Is that Jehovah Witness? Well, they're, they're not Christians. But it's still it's still their Bible. Yeah, their Bible. Their know. Bible's false. You can't I would not yeah. even read their Bible. Their, their Bible is a corruption. They're the ones that change the Bibles. But every other Bible that has a committee that actually has scholars going through it, they all start from the same point, from the same source, mm -hmm. from the apostles. And it's different translations, but they have the same source. So there's nothing that can be left out if we all have the same source, right? That's what I was saying. What, what would be left out? There would be nothing that would be Absolutely. changed. Like, all I can say is that the Book of Mormon gets, like, attacked so many times as missionaries. We can mm. promise you that the Book of Mormon is what's targeted most. Yeah. And there's tons of stuff on the internet that will, that will try to trip you up. Like, they target specific verses and everything. And there's lots of truths. But the only way you can know if the Book of Mormon is true or not is if you read it. Yeah. About it. So if it wasn't true, who would be the source of it? What do you mean? If it wasn't, if the Book of Mormon wasn't, wasn't true, true, who would be the source of it? Like who? Who would um, who would have written it? If it wasn't God? Men. Mm -hmm. Just it's, regular men. It's yeah. Satan. Yeah. It'd be from Satan because yeah. if it's not from God and it's claiming to be from God, yeah, it'd be Satan, right? Yeah. So, all right, can we look at one verse? Galatians 1. Verse what? Uh, eight. Eight and nine. But though we, or an angel, angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. If we, if we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Exactly. Oh. So, that's why, that's what I said. So, if an angel anyone comes to you, an angel or someone mm -hmm. preaches a different gospel, right? Mm -hmm. So if Joseph Smith, an angel came to him, right? God came down to him. God came down to him. Mm -hmm. And now and did Jesus he, Christ. Jesus, right? So did mm -hmm. he preach, did he receive a different gospel than what the apostles believed? It's the exact same gospel. But we believe that when Jesus Christ died and the apostles died, the authority of Jesus Christ was lost. So when every so when all those other church tons of churches were created and then they had truths but they didn't have the entire truth so there was no correct gospel on the earth so when Jesus Christ and God God came down to Joseph Smith they said no gospel is true and they established this gospel the gospel of Jesus Christ the gospel that Jesus Christ preached to the people now what is that in the Bible we don't have all the answers for you. That's, that's that that would be missing from the Bible, right? I don't know if it, it, it says that of the Bible, but there are verses in the Bible that, that we showed you last time, the stick of Judah and the stick of Joseph. Mm -hmm. But did you, what about when Jesus says, heaven and earth are going to pass away, but like my words are going to remain forever. No one's going to take my words. So when, when if, you, in the and, if you're told, if Joseph Smith is told, that was a lie, that did happen, his words were corrupted, gone, can't find them. But Jesus Christ's words were still on the earth mm -hmm. during that apostasy, but because the authority of God was lost. How, what do you mean the authority of God was lost? The priesthood. Jesus Christ had the authority of God when he died, yep. and those generations 
passed away, the authority was lost. There were Jesus Christ truths, and they had lots of truths, but because they didn't have the priesthood, the authority of God, their know, church. Don't confuse me in saying that. What are you like? You're talking about they lost the scriptures. No, the the authority, the priesthood to act in How? God. But if, if Jesus is the the when the, Jesus died, Jesus is the main priest. He's the yeah. high priest. Mm -hmm. So that would never change because he is going to live forever. So oh, no. how would yeah, no, the change? authority didn't go away from Jesus Christ. It's mm -hmm. just that when Jesus Christ died and the apostles were killed, mm -hmm. that authority eventually was lost. But, but they still had the scriptures. So yeah, it's, but it's the people that were oh, yeah, under the apostles. It, the scriptures were still correct, but if they don't have the authority from God, they don't have the authority to act in Jesus Christ's name. So how did authority get lost? Okay. Just over time. But how how did that happen? So like, so, like yeah, the apostles had the authority from Jesus Christ, correct? Yeah. And they were killed. There were still some other people that had it, but over time, the authority of God was lost. But you had the you have the apostles, and then you have the people that they taught, that they were maturing to to take the gospel further when they left. Mm -hmm. Now they have the they have the scriptures. I'm confused with the authority. So if you have the authority, what can you do and what can't you do? Because we direct you, the church, basically. So, but then that's anyone. If some, if anyone feels like they're called from God, they should make, they should be called from God and be and be brought up. They can lead a church. That's how I'm confused it's, about that. So it's certain authority that's required. So then, the so church. the apostles die, mm -hmm. and then you you believe that authority was gone. Over time, yes, the, the authority of God was lost. And so that all those churches, all those new churches that were created, they took the scriptures, which were correct, mm -hmm. and they tried to make their gospel out of the scriptures. But that's wrong, because the scriptures were not just the only religions. Jesus Christ is church. And if they didn't have the authority of Jesus Christ, they can't act under his name. No, really? Even if they're teaching from the scriptures. But that... That means that they will be coming. Some are teaching from the scriptures. The Bible says that you're using the, the, the right foundation. So if I'm yeah. using the right foundation, where does it say I need Jesus' authority? Because if I repent and believe, I will be his child and I can do that. No, that is correct. You can still act under the scriptures and repent of your sins, but you're just not allowed to, to direct a church without the authority of God. In the Bible and the Book of Mormon, I agree with that? Mm -hmm. Where in the Bible does it? I don't know exactly where it says, but that's just, if you don't have yeah. the authority of God, you can't just start up your own church and teach from the Bible. That's what we believe. Because there's only one true church. We believe that church has the authority that Jesus Christ had. Mm -hmm. Now, and that's why I'm confused, because wouldn't the Bible point on that? Like we said, we don't have all the answers, just because we're, we're man and we don't. Have everything, but that see that yeah, that that's where it'd be confusing because I would think, like, say if, when you didn't believe and someone came to you, was why wasn't the first option okay? Let me see it in the Bible, okay. and then I'm gonna see that because now you're running in instances where you see this in the Book of Mormon, but it's nowhere in the Bible, and they don't go hand in hand. That's where the confusing part comes because then. It says, if if it's not in the Bible, you shouldn't even believe it. Because the Bible holds weight over any other book. We believe the Bible to be the Word of God, and they work together. Mm -hmm. Like, cross connections and stuff like that. So they they do go together. So. But they're missing in, in crucial pieces, right? Well, we believe that the Bible teaches truths, like of the paradise. And it's not wrong, but in the Book of Mormon, it just adds to that. But the, the, the problem with that is we have no really a true way of verifying um, the Book of Mormon because you can't just pray about it because it could be wrong. And it now, could be wrong. And it could. You so, could pray about it. Yes, yeah, I'm saying. So what if I pray and I, and I feel, and then God, I feel like, okay, it's wrong. We believe the Book of Mormon to be true. And if you read it with real intent... Yeah, I'm saying. If you want to know and you pray about it, you will receive a witness. Mm, that's what I'm saying. If I have good intent, I read about it, and then the danger when the Bible actually tells me that someone comes and tells me a different gospel, I'll be under a curse. So now I don't, it's a danger of being under a curse. 
Now what? Now we said the gospel changed. What was from the, go the gospel of Jesus Christ to this to this gospel? Yeah. So what was the gospel before, and what's the gospel now? It's the exact same gospel. But I thought it changed. Why did it change? I thought I said. I thought, I thought you stated it changed. No, no, no. The gospel of Jesus Christ did not change. It'll never change. But this is the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, so if those churches was preaching the same gospel, but if they don't, they just didn't have the correct authority from God, and they took up all of Jesus Christ's teachings and they tried to make their own religion out of it. And what religion was that? Tons of religions, like every other church, like all those super old churches that are still today. Like they have the truths from the Bible and they have truths from Jesus Christ and they take up those truths, but without the correct authority from God. They can't lead a church without the correct authority from God. So that even though they have lots of lots of correct information, without the authority from God, it's, it's not correct. Well, the information is correct, but it's not the full truthfulness because it's not. You don't have the, the priesthood, which is the authority of God. But the priesthood is Jesus. Mm -hmm. So if I have Jesus, I have the correct priesthood. I guess what you're saying is if you accept Jesus Christ. Well, no, Jesus is our high priest. If you accept him, Jesus is your high priest, so he's the highest you can go. That is the high priest. I, okay. I think you're... I, don't know I, you, I think we're just... I don't know. I don't this know. is actually my first lesson taught in English. But we just believe that. I think you're kind of misinterpreting the, Jesus Christ being the high priest and that mm -hmm. being different of the priesthood. Because the priesthood is just the power and the authority to act under God's name. Mm -hmm. So if so those high so those leaders of the other church, like for example a Baptist church, if they don't have the correct authority to act under God's name, mm -hmm. they can't lead that church if they don't have that correct authority. Even though they believe in Jesus Christ, if they don't have the priesthood and authority, the same priesthood that Jesus Christ had, then they can't lead. And that's found nowhere in the Bible. That's just, I, I don't know where, but would you would you believe that? That you have to have the correct authority from God to lead a church? I, I would have to see it in the Bible. That, that would be my question. Mm -hmm. Because if it's in the Bible, if it's not, then that's someone teaching me something that's not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And then that's what God says. He says, sanctify them with your, your, your word, with the truth. He says, your word is truth. So what is the truth? Is God's word. That's the truth. So if that is the truth, I should find it in here. Because we shouldn't go outside of these books. The Bible. I don't need any other book. I wouldn't need any other book besides the Bible. That would be my confusion. So if someone said, oh, you need to be, you need this authority. Okay, show me in the Bible. If it's not in the Bible, then I ask, why do you believe it? Why do I believe? Yeah, why, no, no, no. Why would you even believe that you needed that priesthood to be preaching about God? And when God says, you are my witnesses, go out into the ends of the world to preach. And what would they need to be qualified? They needed to have the source in them. They need to have the right foundation. Mm -hmm. And the foundation, your cornerstone it's and Jesus your rock Christ. is Jesus. So he says, that's the only qualification that you need. So if someone says, I need a different qualification, what did Jesus talk about? Because why would Jesus leave and be gone for hundreds of years and then have his people because Paul, Paul had that authority mm -hmm. and so when he passed it to people because he was putting people in charge of other yeah. churches and that so why didn't he talk about that where is that in the Bible when, where the authority of Paul left yeah but like where is it saying you have to have this authority because Jesus didn't Jesus con would contradict that message and said you are my witnesses go out and do this we go to Luke chapter 9. Luke 9? Luke 9. <clears throat> Verses 1 and 2. And I think we can finish with this and yeah. we can like, make a different time. Okay. And try to find more answers. To yeah, good. yeah, I need to understand more about that, that priesthood. Yeah, no worries. Um, Luke 9, which verse? 1 and 2. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the, king, the, the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Yep. 
That's when he sent them out to go hell mm -hmm. to show that they was from God. Yep. Yes, they have the power. Mm -hmm. But now we have the power. Anyone that believes has the power and authority. That was before he died. I believe that the priest gave them power mm -hmm. is the priesthood. Is that authority. Well, why did he give them authority? That because though they were his disciples. Mm -hmm. So are you a disciple of Christ? The definition of disciple is just one that believes Jesus Christ and, and follows him. Mm -hmm. So if I believe in Jesus Christ and I follow him, which we both are, we both are disciples, and you're a disciple as well, if you believe in Jesus Christ and you follow him. Mm -hmm. So those were just his 12 disciples, his 12 apostles. In other, those were his 12 apostles. Mm -hmm. So he gave them power. And he, when he says gave them power and authority, the authority is what we believe is, on, is by the laying on of hands. So we believe that when they died and they were killed, that authority was lost. But you understand, and even in this part no, of the under, same I chapter, understand. they lost this before he died. Before he even died on the cross, before they lost Jesus. his power. He gave them that, he gave this a temporary, because then they couldn't even cast out a demon. Where does it say that? Let me see if it's in the chapter. This is verse 9. Oh, yeah, verse, um, yeah, verse 38. 938. Yeah. Um, and behold, a man of the company cried out, saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is mine only, he's my only child. For lo, a spirit taken of him, and he suddenly cried out, and terror to him that he formed again, and uh, bruising him, hardly departed from him. And um, I besought the disciples to cast him out, and they couldn't. And then Jesus said, oh, you don't have enough faith. So even that authority they were given was only temporary. That was just for them to go out and to, to do things, but that was only temporary. That's why I said, that can't, that can't be an example to say you got the authority because they didn't even have it for a while. There is a difference between authority and power. Mm -hmm. The apostles, they had the authority of Christ to preach, to cast out devils. But it's just, as he said, because of their weak faith, mm -hmm. they had no the power to do that. Yeah. Even when they had the authority. Yeah. So, um, I don't know how to say this, but, um, so, if your question was, like, if that authority was, like, put out of them, mm -hmm. because they, and cast out his devil at that time. They still have the authority, as many of us. Uh, we believe that members of the church who are like righteous people can receive the, the authority of God to possess the priesthood. But <clears throat> only those who has clean lives and can have the power. Mm -hmm. I can have the authority and I can bless someone, but if I'm, in my life is like I'm doing something wrong, I can, I can even give this blessing, but without power, because of the worthiness in me. So that's why this, uh, the apostle Jesus Christ wasn't unable, able to cast out the zeal because they were, like, they have little faith. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have power, but they were pretty I would say that if, if, if you are going to say you need the authority, that wouldn't be a good proof text to, to you to, to try to prove that point. Mm -hmm. Because if you, in context, a Bible student is going to know that that is not talking about that. And he was, they was given that for a, a, a reason. That was an act. That was a specific um, time where they had that power and authority, but that wasn't for the future. That was going to be when he died, they received the power to do that. And that's why Jesus said, you're going to do greater miracles than I did so the people would know that you are from God. And once the people knew and believed that they were from God, those powers were gone. 